Hello class, today we're going to be looking at linear or rectangular patterns. So let's go ahead and first create our sketch, get into our sketch environment. And then we can see that this pattern feature, this is a circular one, but we're really only looking at linear patterns. All right. So let's create an object or, or sketch element that we would want to create. So here is, it doesn't really matter. We'll just, that looks good. We have this rectangle that we want to actually create a grid from. Now, we're going to go up to and select our linear pattern and then select what it is we want to pattern. And then you have the ability in two different directions. You can just grab this manipulator here and you can spread it out. And what you're doing is changing this dimension here. And you can manually drag it or actually enter a specific dimension. So I double click in here and make this an inch and a quarter. Then I also can change the number that I want to go in the horizontal direction. So the number of columns that I would have, and let's make this five. You know, automatically, every, it has five of them with front corner to front corner spacing of an inch and a quarter uniformly throughout. I also can do the same here. Again, let's make this one inch to make it a little bit tighter and we will make it four rows. So here you go. I've created a rectangular or linear pattern in two different directions, creating this grid. And again, I can, this can all be independent distance and spacing and the quantity in each way. So I'm going to green check that. Let's give ourselves a backdrop here just to show from an extrusion standpoint. Accept that. We'll extrude. Select everything there. And there you go. That's how you can create a linear pat pattern or a rectangular pattern as it's sometimes referenced.